So hello again in another exciting Unity 3D and Playmaker tutorial with me Romy Fauzi. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to create a uh, some sort of additional episode or a complementary episode on how to uh, adjust the hand position of our player mechanism here. So uh, the player it will look like uh, he is holding the weapon not like the one we've created before if I uh, play this right now you can see what it means it doesn't exactly like holding the weapon so we need to fix that okay in order to fix that we are going to readjust the weapon position first so I'm going to scale the X position to a smaller value so it look like this and then move to the left side bit and move to the upper side oh, sorry okay so now next we are going to create a new FSM so let's create a new FSM uh, add, sorry add FSM to the player mechanism and I'm going to rename this FSM to mechanism IK and here uh, before we are uh, we, we are going to set up this FSM I'm going to create a new empty game object under the weapon so let's create empty and this is the left hand target and I'm going to show the icon here so we can see the position and for the left hand I'm going to put it on this area here and I'm going to duplicate this object and I'm going to rename this to right hand target and the second one I'm going to move slightly to the back and then we can set up our mechanism here so we are going to need to use the set animator IK go so just filter by using the keyword animator and browse the action here to set animator IK go and change the IK go to left hand and we can just drag the left hand target to this slot over here and I'm going to make sure the posi position weight is 1 and the rotation weight is 0 and make sure every frame is checked and I'm going to duplicate this action and let's drag the air hand target to the other animator goal and also change the IK goal to right hand okay and make sure its uh, position weight is 1, rotation weight is 0 and every frame is checked I'm going to minimize the action here and I'm going to save the scene first and by uh, by choosing the player mechanism go to animator and under the base layer here press this I gear icon here to open this option over here and make sure IK pass is checked and then first I'm going to apply this object so it gets saved back to the prefabs and I'm going to play this and see if it's working there is a bug though as you can see the hand is positioned a bit far from the target so uh, I've tried to fiddle to fix this but it only works when our animator reside only on the base object here but in or uh, when I try to do that this uh, photon animator view and it's quite uh, a mess to fiddling with the photon view scripting from different object because we need to send the animator info over the network so I it's hard for me to move the animator to the cyber soldier object here so right now for me the workaround is to move the target to the other position until it fits like the way we want to so I'm going to adjust this and I don't know why it's, it's jittering but uh, when we later create uh, from the network it, that it doesn't look like this so just bear with me try to adjust the hand position so it like it, it looked like he's holding the weapon and move this to the side here yep and for the I'm going to copy this value first because 
after we copy this value or after we stop the game the position will get reset so I'm going to paste the component value and this is the uh, right hand target click apply once again and let's play it again and now we are going to adjust the left hand target so let's move this target uh, until it look like the left hand also holding the weapon and I'm going to move this slide to the left and move this slide backward okay so now I'm going to copy this value again the left hand target and then I'm going to stop the game and paste the value to the left hand target that gets reset when we stopping the game so paste component value and then press apply and now if we delete this game object and then save the scene and let's play it and let's play it like uh, the usual way by inserting our name and press create room and there you go as you can see the player is holding the weapon so it looks like it's holding the weapon and if we are moving the head is still on the weapon so yep uh, I think that would be all for this uh, very short additional episode for handling how our hand should be uh, and if you have any questions just leave on the comments below uh, I think it should work with working uh, when building so because uh, the, we already we already add new FSM and it will work on every client okay so thanks for watching and if you like please subscribe and I really appreciate any donation if you could make it so I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.